Alrighty, guys, welcome back in to another edition of Slaughterhouse Sports here. Um, three videos coming out today, um, possibly more, but we're going to talk about all of the coaching uh, hires. And this is kind of videos that I've honestly mulled over, meaning like I thought about them and I wanted to present, you know, the, the positives and the negatives to each of these candidates I or each of these coaching uh, hires. So I don't think, honestly, that I don't think that every hire is immune to failing or is immune to being really successful. But we're going to talk about Jim Harbaugh first on this show. He goes to the Vegas, or no, he goes to the Los Angeles Chargers, um, Jim Harbaugh. So, when we analyze Jim Harbaugh, really a coach at Michigan that was up and down. He was down his first couple of years. Now, he took Michigan eventually to the pinnacle recently, but there was a period in which he had Don Brown as a defensive coordinator in which, you know, Michigan wasn't really, um, Michigan wasn't really clicking on all cylinders. He's had some, some, some hires that haven't even been very good. You know, Josh Gaddis at Miami wasn't that good and he wasn't that good at Michigan. So honestly, Jim Harbaugh, I mean, during 2020, the COVID year, he was, you know, basically 70% of the fan base wanted to fire Jim Harbaugh because he couldn't really beat Ohio State. And he was even losing to, you know, Penn State and other teams when he had like Shea Patterson. And if we go back to that era of Jim Harbaugh. So it's not like Jim Harbaugh is a shoe in to be really, really good. In San Francisco, he was very good. At Stanford, he was elite. But is he going to be the same level that he was, you know, 20 years ago? I mean, the guy's 60 years old. Old coaches, get, older coaches can still be really, really good, but sometimes you can lose your fastball. That That's just what happens with age, okay? But the good news for Harbaugh in this job is that he has a quarterback already in Justin Herbert. And for the Chargers, they're looking for somebody that's going to win. They don't care about putting up stats now. They want to win. Now, the defense has a lot of, like, quote-unquote star players, like Derwin James, who is really good, and Bosa. But it's a top-heavy team, and these stars get injured a lot. Keenan Allen gets hurt. Austin Eckler gets injured. Um, Joey Bosa is always out. Um, Khalil Mack had a really good year, but I think that he's going to be in his 30s. So um, it just shows you that, you know, when you look at the uh, – when you look at the Chargers, that, you know, you have a quarterback who works, Gerald Everett, or you, you have Keenan Allen um, looking at other parts of the roster. Quinn and Johnson needs to be a good wide receiver, but, you know, on the offensive side, like, I really trust Herbert. That's why it's a really good job. You know, L.A. is a, you know, a good market. Um, you know, Harbaugh's played there. Uh, you're not going to have too much pressure. Uh, and the fans really like you from the get-go. So I think that they're going to give you time. Um, but there is expectation. But you look at this division now, and I think that Denver's going to get a lot better with Sean Payton, actually. I like that they're going to draft a quarterback. Um, the Raiders, you know, look to be stabilizing and look to be, you know, better. And then the Chiefs. So this isn't a shoe in to, to absolutely work. Like I give this hire like a B hire. You're going to have to be patient. Give him like a six or a seven year deal. But the good news about Harbaugh is that he won a national championship in college football. He was a success at Michigan because Michigan was a mess with Brady Hoke when he got there. And even though he went like eight and four several times, he eventually figured it out. He needed to hire Mike McDonald. He needed to hire uh, Jesse Minter and Sharon Moore. He needed to hire younger coaches uh, to be successful. He's going to go back to... Um, to the guy, uh, what's what's the offensive coordinator, um, Greg Roman, I think, and his son is going to run uh, special teams. 
but Minter might be able to be a defensive coordinator. So, you know, overall, like for the Chargers, it's a pretty damn good hire because you have some talent on the roster. You're in a win-now situation. Your quarterback's in his prime. And he's going to get you, he's going to go on a deep playoff run. I don't think he's going to stabilize anything. He's not really a builder. You know, you see that at Michigan too. Like, they're going to drop off this year. So he gets you to the top. A little bit like Bobby Petrino without being um, as as mean and as without being as unliked as Bobby Petrino. If Bobby Petrino was at an Ohio State, he probably would have won a national title, but then the program would have really fallen off. That's what Harbaugh's going to do. I don't think that he's going to create that consistent, consistent success. Um, I think he'll get there for a couple of years, but overall, still, you're going to probably get to an AFC championship game with Harbaugh and Herbert. So I like this hire. I'm going to give it a B to a B plus, but it's not like an A plus um, franchise changing hire. But, heck, even Sean McVay, I guess, you can. he got to a Super Bowl. He won one. Zach Taylor, I guess, would be an A higher. Um, So it all depends on expectation, but I think it's a solid B to a B plus because because if you hired, like, a Bobby Slowick, just an offensive coordinator, um, it wouldn't have the same cachet with the defense. Like, these these veterans are ready to win a championship. So it's a win-now team with a quarterback that's an elite quarterback. So it, 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 I do like that move, but there is downside, meaning that he's older, he's temperamental. If the team starts losing, the fans are going to turn on him. And it, it isn't like Jim Harbaugh has been, like, has been absolutely, like, a spotless great resume. But I guess that you could say that about every single coach if you if you you know grade them on that tough scale. But there's a world in which Harbaugh loses to Alabama and he never wins that championship. There's a world in which you hired Harbaugh three years ago. It would be viewed for a different lens. Like I think he needs a good offensive coordinator, a young defensive coordinator. The roster needs to be churned up a little bit. Um, and honestly, like, I don't see, like, like you look at an incredible coach that, you know, like, I guess Tomlin's reign where he was there 10 years, I think Harbaugh might be there four to six years. And eventually the thing's going to probably run its course like it did in San Francisco, but you're going to get highs of highs, I think, with Harbaugh. And I think that the Chargers fans are ready to try to win a championship. I also think Harbaugh, with the you know the, the transfer portal and everything going around college football, is clearly viewed going back to the NFL. And this is a great job. You have a great quarterback. You're in a good market. The, the owner will spend money on, you, on your team. Um, so... There you go, but it, it's interesting again, like Stan Kroenke and Harbaugh, but for a lot of reasons, this could be pretty good, but I'm not as all in as everybody. I'm not as all slam dunk higher as everybody out there. Um, it could still fail uh, for a multitude of reasons. He can hire old coordinators like he did at Michigan that don't work like Don Brown. The, the roster is overrated. These guys can end up getting injured. And his personality can wear on people um, from previous stops and from just listening to players and people. Um, So there you go. All righty, guys. So good for Harbaugh. It is a great job. I still like the hire. I think he'll go to an AFC championship. I don't let me think if he's going to win a Super Bowl with Herbert. Odds are against him, but odds are he can take you to an AFC title. The odds of him making a Super Bowl with Herbert, decent, like 40% chance, I'll say. And an AFC championship, I'll say it's 65. Winning a Super Bowl, probably 35%, 65% doesn't do it. But you'll probably take those odds if you're a Chargers fan. All righty, guys, let me know what y'all think about it.